Hello students and welcome to the beginning of the AS level economics course. Today we're going to be having a little introduction into economics just to see the bare basics of the course. We'll be beginning in section 1 which is the economic problem. What is economics? On screen now is a fantastic quote by Lionel Robbins which was written in the essay on the nature and significance of economic science. It says Economics is a science which studies human behaviour as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. What this means is that we live in a world that has unlimited wants, but finite resources. So economics is all about balancing these wants and resources so everyone can get the right things that they need. So why is there an economy? Economic activity takes place because, as I said, we live in a world that has unlimited wants, but we only have a finite amount of resources that can satisfy these wants. So you may think, well, I don't think we may have unlimited wants because I don't always want anything. But for Christmas or your birthday, surely there are some items which you wouldn't mind having. There's always going to be something that can improve your life or improve society's life. And this is what drives society to always want to consume it because it can always be better. This whole idea that the human race is becoming more and more advanced over time is simply because the economy has these unlimited wants. The fundamental economic problem. Now the fundamental economic problem is that the world has unlimited wants however there are finite resources. For example oil, coal or wood that we get from trees are one day going to be completely uh, consumed and there isn't going to be any more of the resources. However if we continue living until then there are going to be wants to have to use these fuels in order to power our cities. So what we have to do is we have to allocate these resources appropriately so all the world can have the right amount of resources that it needs. So as a result, choices must be made. We have to start making decisions as to who is going to get the right amount of what resource. Making choices. Choices are going to be have to made to balance these finite wants, finite resources and un unlimited wants. So there's going to be three main choices which we're going to make. The first is what to produce. We need to know um, what we have to produce in order to allocate all these resources appropriately. If we're looking at fuels, are we going to have to produce more renewable fuels or more non-renewable fuels in order to meet our energy needs? It all depends on what we are producing. The second is how to produce it. Production methods are going to help decide how many products and services are going to be made using our resources. Therefore, we need to know how we're going to produce these to get all the energy or, or the resources that we need. And the final is from whom to produce. Societies decide how products and services are going to be distributed from everyone, so therefore we need to know who the producers are going to be so that they can get paid and distribute everything correctly. Incentives. Now, economic agents are going to make choices. Different push and pull factors are going to impact the choices that are made. These are called incentives. Now the correct definition for the term incentive is a factor motivating an economic agent to behave in a particular way. Incentives can be based on religion, financial promises, or moral and ethical beliefs. So here's an example of an incentive. If a firm sees that one of its products has a higher profit margin than the rest because there's a lot more demand for it, it has an incentive to produce more of that product so more people are going to buy it. You can test what you've learned here with these questions. Pause the video and have a go at attempting these on another sheet of paper and then hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you did get all four of them right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video. However, if you did not, be sure to go over your notes once more or rewind the video. As always, thank you so much for watching and join us next time where we're going to be looking at the factors of production. If you want to revise any more AS economics, be sure to check out www.revisealevel.co.uk where there is information on the subject and a wide range of information on tons of other subjects too. Thank you so much and I hope to help you again soon. Goodbye.